EQ is something that you can apply to your sound, along with compression to help get the output of sound that you really want. If you haven't already seen my basic, very bare boned explanation of what, EQ, eh, what compression is, go check that out. I also discuss noise gates in there as well, very briefly. This is also going to be a very bare boned explanation of what EQ is. I want to put it out there to fully grasp these concepts, go and mess around with some EQ and compression plugins. It is the best way without a doubt to understand it is by going in there and doing it yourself. What EQ can do for you is EQ adjusts your hertz. What hertz is, it's your range of what you can hear. So humans can hear between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. EQ adjusts this range and this range goes up in pitch. So 20 hertz is very low, low pitched. If you've ever done a hearing test, you'll know what I'm talking about. 20 hertz, low. 20 kilohertz, high. EQ adjusts this range. You can make the lower sounds a little bit higher or a little bit lower, vice versa with the higher sounds in the mid range. I should explain, in the sound world we use names for sounds like that sounds a little bit boomy, a little bit orange or that sounds quite bright, you know that's, that's quite harsh sound. It's terminology that we use to try and help explain <laughs> what uh, what area we're looking at in terms of hertz, okay? Boomy and all that stuff. Bassy is obviously low end. Tinny, sort of mid, and the high, highness of that is usually. This can be useful for if you're wanting to make, say that you're wanting to make a short film, but you want it to be like cowboys and all that, and you're wanting to maybe do a. I don't know, a mock film or something like that. And you want the typical telephony, nasally, like right old black and white vintage sort of sounds. That's where you go to EQ. I'll use an example they might use in your project. Say that you've got characters inside a club. The clubs play music. While these characters are inside the club, you'd want the music to be quite clear. Say that your characters leave the club. The background music of the club, if they're, if your characters are outside the building, you want to tail down your high end. Because what that'll do is it'll only let through the lower end sounds, it'll make it more sound like your characters are outside. It'll make the audio of the club a little bit dimmer. The way that it would if you had to generally go outside of a club and listen to the music, it would sound quite boomy and bassy. That's only just because the higher frequencies don't travel as far as what lower frequencies do. One thing to note, if you've got a project and you're, it's sounding quite harsh, human hearing is most sensitive between 1 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz. That's just round about the mid-range. That is a natural thing. It's actually for, it's for speech because our speech range is usually between 1 kilohertz and 5 kilohertz. Um, so it, it's a evolution thing. So if your project, if your audio is sounding a little bit harsh in the ears, a bit hard to listen to, try and mess around between 1 and 5k um, and that should help even it out. Along with the high end, try and bring down your high end a little bit. So this is what you might see an EQ come up with. You might also only see these knobs here but if you're lucky enough you'll see the little screen. So down here is 20 hertz and up here is 20 kilohertz. You can actually drag and drop your mouse as well in some softwares. So I'm going to show you really quickly what this does on another video that I'm working on. Bassy is obviously low end. So very first thing, as I said in the video, you can make it sound honky, like an old sort of movie thing, I guess. What I can do is I can bring this up here, and if I taste... Mm -hmm. 
make it a little bit wider other way. My computer is really struggling here. I have to make that quite wide. Tenny sort of mids in the... Tenny sort of mid, there you are, see? So that's sort of bringing a bit of honky tonk, and you'd also want to probably bring these down as well if you want that sort of effect. The high, highness of that is usually. So yeah, that's just really, really quickly. So this is where you can adjust your audio to try and make your vocals a little bit clearer or adjust it however you want. So let's just have a little listen and do a very, very quick edit. You know, I'll need to flip this so that people... So I don't want it too harsh, I'm going to bring it down a little bit and I'm also going to narrow in the EQ just so it isn't affecting too much of the bands. See, anyway. Anyway! I want a little bit more air, a little bit more presence, just so it sticks out, just so then you can also clearly hear my voice over my sort of nasally natural voice, if that makes sense. So this can be useful for if you're wanting to make, say that you're wanting to make a short film but you want it to be like cowboys and all that and you're wanting... So yeah, the other thing that I'll do as well is I'll always do a low and high cut as well, just to keep everything in the range of 20 hertz, 20 kilohertz. You don't want anything above or below. I usually just do a high and low, um, high and low cuts. Yeah, that's a very quick. Also, don't do this without headphones, okay? Do it with headphones on. So this is a very brief sort of showcase of an EQ. So yeah, again, this is a very bare bones explanation. Go experiment with it and see what it can do.